तुलसी सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्तबिंद समीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदन मनोहर वाछाकल्पतरु के पास सिंधु विवच पतितान पावने भवैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचाल पंगुंगलंगतगिरी यत्कि पातमहंगे परमानंदमाधव बृंदावै तुलसीदेव पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत् नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुचनोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोधर धेय सदा परिभवन भविष्टदूहम तेथास्पद शिव विरचन तम शरण्य भीताहम पुनोपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारिंद यत्दपल्लवनखचंदमनीछटा विस्फुजीत किमी गोवधूष्वदर्श पूर्णागर सागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयि कदा काम श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनिता श्री अद्वैत गधाधर शिवासदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनिता श्री अद्वैत गधाधर शिवासदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितरो कमला यथाक्ष फिश्याम बरो द्विज बरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा बतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे पद पाद पंकज सुरा सुरवंदी तो दीप रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति ददा भावान्ूपेन सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमनीयटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तो भागम नारायणो प्रियमनंग मदापहारम वरानसीपुरपति भज विशनाथ वागीशजुष्व वदने लक्ष्मीजस् चक्षसी यस्तेदय संबीत सिंहमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे
कृष्णोत्केतन गान नो कला पथो जनी भ्राजिता सदभक्ता बलि हंस चक्र मूपो सैनी विहारास्पदम कर्णानंदी कल धनिर्वह तुमे जेहा मरु प्रांगणे श्री चैतन्य दया निधे तबल सग लीला सुधा सर्दुनि कृष्ण कीर्तन गान नर्तनो कला पथो जनी भ्राजिता सदभक्ता बलि हंस चक्र मधुपो सैनी विहारास्पदम कर्णानंदी कल धनिर्वह तुमे जेहा मरु प्रांगणे श्री चैतन्य दया निधि तबल सग लीला सुधा सर्धुनि गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु सेट दे दोस मायावादी फाइटिंग विथ आस दे आर स्पीकिंग दैट इन भागवतम लास्ट इट इज रिट लास्ट एंड ऑफ भागवतम इट इज रिट इट इज रिट इन कैवल लोक प्रयोजनम यू आर फाइटिंग इट इज रिट इन कैवल लोक प्रयोजनम Kaivalya is the ultimate goal. It is written in Bhagavatam, and you are speaking something else. Papa Gauriya Goshti Pati, Gauriya Goshti Pati, this is the love of the Shiddhan to Saraswati Goswami. Your Papa, Paramahansa Jagadguru said that those Mayavadi starting argument that they are starting argument with Vaishnavas. They are speaking in Bhagavatam itself. It is written. Last end, kaival loi ka prajana, and you are speaking something else. They are supporting us, impersonal Bombay Faljans, but you are speaking this way. Papa speaking no. You are accepting wrong way. Siddhanta bicharo. Kaival loi ka prajana mean prema, absolute prema is the kaival loi ka pra. Kaival loi ka prajana mean kaival loi mean. oneness with brahma but oneness in which respect which way regarding prema that mayavadi making mistake mayavadi speaking kaivalya ke prajan so we can get oneness with brahma can become amba but papa said no your conception is wrong you will have to demand you will have to develop tremendous love you will have to develop tremendous love affair so that You can feel oneness regarding love affair, like the case of Simuti Radharani, when Krishna gone, Krishna gone to Mathura. Some day Krishna going to send Uddhavji with a target. That if I send, if I send target, if I if I if I can send Uddhav to Vrindavan. Uh, first target is that i can give consolation to my father mother friends everybody eh? that is also good and second udva udhav is lacking one vital point udhav is complete very nice udhav is similar to me it is only udhav it is only an only one piece udhav the who is in living condition in living condition in this material world took the form of krishna only one example all other they live body they demand bhagwan you have to give me sarup i like to uh, i like to get this kind of you know uh, figure like you same that is after living body not in living condition not in living condition only one example udha in this physical body in course of thinking krishna 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 previously i heard is written the body complexion of krishna was fair but in course of thinking krishna krishna is black and like looking like also our kesab go same maraj you can you can see kesab go is you know installed deity krishna is fair krishna is not black Kesab ko sima, install deity Krishna's fear like Radharani. 
Kesav Goswami is writing that Krishna continuously thinking, thinking, continuously, absorbingly about Radharani and took the form of Radharani. This also happened. Not it is, it is not on a story. This happened in Vrindavan, Imlitala. I heard the name of Imlitala. You heard, eh? Imlitala, yeah. Imlitala, Imlitala means turmeric, uh, it's called uh, Tarmarin. Ah, Tarmarin, Tetul. There is three man. Then one day, Simati Radharani sleep there. Because there was very ripe turmeric falling down. And after that, due to this reason, in total Vrindavan there is no turmeric trees, only one. <laughs> that even without any fruit. No fruit is there. Only one turmeric tree residue in Vrindavan, Talbiko, ta I mean plum tree. Also you can find in Talvan, nowhere. Only there, sample. Miracle. Anyway, there one day, Radha, Govindo, sitting, and all Gopikas, they are singing, dancing all around. Suddenly, all Sakim Manjiri, they discover, all they discover, suddenly Krishna become golden color. No black color. What is this? They become sway. Why your body color is like a golden color? Then Krishna laughing and speaking, this is my eternal sarup, Gauranga sarup. This is my eternal sarup that you can see someday. Follow this way. So, what Baba speaking? Krishna bhakti. When you are feeling tremendous love for Krishna, prema, then it can make you a feeling of oneness. What Vishwanath Chakravarti was writing, Shakshad Haritvena Samastha Sastai Rukta Stata Bhabbadeva Sadbi Kintu Pavurja Priyavatasya Bande Guru Si Charna. No, it was your Krishna is himself. Krishna is himself. After that, Vishwanath Chakravarti was clarifying that Krishna himself means Gurudev is non-different than Krishna regarding love affair. So much love. Loma love affair. So, Uddhav was sent to Vrindavan to give consolation to father, mother, then and to also Kim Manjuri friends, those who are lamenting, crying all day and night. And another secret reason was there. Another one secret reason was there that Uddhav is completely okay, very nice. But one thing is sorting, that he have no idea about the love affair of Brajavasi, how they love me. Practical feeling, maybe he heard something, but practically he has no experience how Gopikas, how uh, Brajavasi saw those, my friend, you know, Sidam, Sudam, Sudam, all, eh, or oh, how they love me, practically or not. So, uh, if I can send Uddha, that I can uh, fulfill two targets. One is uh, consolation, and another is Uddha is complete itself, but lacking this thing, only this thing. So, I love Uddha so much. I love Uddhav so much. Why he cannot understand? Why he cannot understand the secret love affair? Why he cannot understand the secret love affair between me and Brajavasis? That also he can. But after that, anyway, I am going to keep him as a Acharya. Anyway, I am going to keep him as Acharya in this world. After I go, after I go, after I gone there, he can teach everything. There is a target with this. Uddhav was sent in this. So, Pope was speaking, Kaival Loika Prajanam is the main thing. Even Uddhavji wanted to take the form of Kripa to get the valuable, most valuable treasure 
I mean the dust particle from the lotus feet of of Kopikas. Asa maho charananenu jusa maham sam bindavani kimapi gulmalatao sadinam jadustajya sajjana majya patanche hitva bheju mukunda padabim suti bhim bhimigya. Suti, Siti, Puran, they all taking the form of personified form. They are expecting the dust particle from the lotus feet of all Gopikas, Bajavasis. Brahma also. Brahma also. Last I like to take birth as a creeper and uh, so that I, the Bajavasis, Bajagopikas, they can go away. All the dust particle can fly in the in a, in a space and fall. All dust particles from the lotus feet of gopikas, they can go away. They are moving around na, in Vrindavan. So in the dust particle by air, those dust particle, dust particle can be taken on my head. So I want to take by the skripa. This is a failure. But I was discussing about those Mayavadi. They are so dry heart. Their heart is so dry, so dry, they don't understand. They have no idea, like demon. That is why, that is why Bhagavan wanted to give instruction to Sankar Bhagavan. Somehow, you can take birth, you can take incarnation on this earth to, to preach Mayavad. Testful, very testful Mayabad. You can preach this Mayabad or Bhakti, I don't like to give to everybody. Bhakti is very limited. I can give Bhakti, surely, those who are qualified. Not that everyone. And in manifesting Leela, it was this causeless mercy. He used to distribute prema to everybody. That is a special case. Even Mayabadi, it is prohibited for us to take darshan of Mayabadi. Is strictly prohibited for us to take darshan of Mayavadi. If you look at Mayavadi, you will have to take bath. Even Chaitanya, even you know, Mahaprabhu wanted to Mahaprabhu wanted to change them, their heart. Those Mayavadi prohibited for us to, to look them. But Mahaprabhu took trouble to go there, attain the function and changing them. So how much mercy? But in general case, it is not available. It is written in Chaitanya Chaitamito, if you meet with one Mayavadi, those who are speaking, Aham Brahma Smi, I am Brahma. But suppose you meet with one Mayavadi, immediately we will have to take bath with your cloth. Even with your cloth. So when I used to speak Harikata and Haridwar, yeah, I am going to Harikata place. Or because of place, I meet with one Mahavadi, what to do? I have no time to go take bath. How I can make up? So I used to think the lotus feet of Gurudev and Jagannath, Bhagavan, Balaram. Patit Pavan, you know, Patit Pavan, at the gate of Jagannath, Lion Gate. Lion Gate, there is Patit Pavan, na? You never saw, never go. You can go someday again. Time is coming. <laughs> also. So, Lion Gate. There is Patit Pavan. So if you can, if you can think about, if you can imagine Patit Pavan, immediately you can purify. If you can remember Prabhupada Lotus Feet, Bhakti Muntaka Lotus Feet, immediately you can provide. Immediately. Before long. So this is the case, actually. They all wanted to become the lotus, dust particle from the lotus feet of Gopikas or Brajavasis. But Brajavasis, but Mayavadis, they have no idea. Their heart is so hard, so hard, like iron piece. They are less interested. That's why Bhagavan took decision not to distribute prema to them. In the form of Krishna, he never distributed prema to Mayavadi. Only Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
It is only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to change the heart of Mayavadi was success. So he was successful to convert the heart of Mayavadi. Impossible. Next to impossible. Next to impossible. Impossible to change the heart of Mayavadi. But only special case. So Mayavadi, they are less interested to hear any Leela of Bhagavan. Apparently they are discussing, but they think it is not eternally very. Leela is uh, temporary. Uh, the sarup of Bhagavan is temporary. Devotees, all their sarup is also temporary. Bhakti is one kind of drama. I am playing Bhakti because Without taking shelter of bhakti, nobody, no father can get success. Maybe Mayavadi, maybe, get, maybe those who are doing yoga, jnana, karmi, somehow, some way, somehow, somehow, some way, a little bit, they will have to take shelter of bhakti. If not, they cannot come out successful. It is written, Chaitanya. If they are not going to take shelter of bhakti, a little bit, they don't understand bhakti, but still a little bit like to, then they can get success. Without the support of bhakti, even jnani cannot come out successful, even yogi cannot come out successful, even karmi cannot successful, nobody, never. Bhakti is such a thing. But about poor bhakti, surely they have no idea, they don't believe it. They like to get Brahma part. What Sarvamu Vate Jajjo? Sarvamu Vate Jajjo now totally changed. Sarvamu Vate Jajjo now in a position, he, he cannot believe himself. Even he cannot believe himself. How possible that I am changed? Which is next to impossible. Is now changed. And then started speaking. Bairagya Vidya, Bairagya Vidya, Nijo Bhakti Yoga, Shikshartha Mekam Purusho Purano, Shikishna Chaitanya Sarir Dhari, Kipam Budhir Yastamaham Prapadhi. Bairagya Vidya, so long, Sarvam Vatajajo thinking, Bairagya, Bairagya men, what Bairagya? Mayavadi always recite. But, but Mayavadi, all Mayavadi, all is inside this point. Vedanta Bhakshesu Shada Ramantam Kaupina Bantam Kalubhagya Bantam. Hey, they are speaking this way. Always you are roaming around each and every word of Vedanta are like intoxication. Ah, so lucky you are. And you are having all, the only property, coping, nothing else. Oh, so lucky you are, that you are successful to renounce completely. But Mayavadi, are you successful? You are successful to, to renounce you know, the whole world? Is possible? You are eating, you are taking bath, you are going here. Karma sannyas, karma sannyas, how you can call? Your eating is also one kind of karma. Your sleeping is also one kind of karma. How you can say karma sannyas? Karma sannyas no. Karma sannyas is prohibited in Kalikal. Karma sannyas. But bhakti sannyas supported by Bhagavatam. I can open Bhagavatam and show you. In Bhagavatam already there, sannyas, tridandi sannyas, tridandi vikyuk, tent can to Bhagavan speaking to. It is there. So, bhakti sannyas is never prohibited. Karma sannyas is prohibited in Kalikal. In Kalikal, so many things so thing prohibited. I don't like to speak anywhere right now. So, Sarma Vartajaja now getting back infinity period. Everybody, we are traveling. Now, how lucky Sarma Vartajaja? Now, he is going to feel that Bhairagya is one kind of, one kind of Vidva. There is two things. One is Vidva, another is Avidva. Two kind of things. There is two, two things are there. One is Vidva, another is Avidva. Vidva means, Vidva means, 
What do you mean by Vidya? Vidya means knowledge. Vidya. Education. Knowledge. Vidya. Avidya means just opposite of that. Agyan. Avidya means Agyan. But so long, Sarvam Vartajaju was absorbingly is Avidya. Yes or not? So long, Sarvam Vartajaju was absorbingly in Avidya. Right or not? Because he was ignorant. He had no idea about bhakti, what uh, he thinks uh, to avoid matter, to avoid matter. Any matter, I can throw this table, you are giving me money, I can throw, you are giving me any cloth, I can throw out, I don't need anything, I can take naked, no problem. I have vairagya. What is the utility of this vairagya? Anyway, your body needs prasadam. Prasadam means they are food, I can say. They don't believe prasadam. So anyway, you need food to maintain your body. You need water to drink. You need water to take bath. So how I can believe that you are going to uh, uh, show complete renounce, renunciation with the whole matter, whole world? You are talking also with people coming in front of you. You are maintain, maintaining one organization. So, in living condition, so long as your body is there, try to remember, so long as your body is there, physical body, you cannot renounce matter totally, completely. Somehow you have to accept to maintain your body. Somehow you need, somehow you need now something to protect your body. The complete renunciation is not possible. Bhakti renunciation is possible. I mean, we can use prasadam. We cannot run with, we can never run with a mood of enjoyment, but surely we can run with a mood of devotion. That can protect us. Now, after a long time, Sarvamata Jajjo never, I know, this for the first time, realized that Bhairagya should be Vidya. Popad used to say, all proper adjustment, all proper adjustment, any object in this world, any object, there is a technique of devotion, any object around you, if you can relate each and everything with devotional practice, bhakti, for bhajan, then it's okay. But this is very high, fine technique. So super fine technique, the ordinary man, they have no idea in it. They have no access. Ordinary man, they don't understand this point. Prabhupada used to say, all proper adjustment. All proper adjustment, whatever you have, or whatever you have, you should use it for the seva of Krishna. You can use you can engage your wife in Krishna Bhajan, or you can engage your husband in Krishna Bhajan, your children in Krishna Bhajan, all your building in Krishna Bhajan, all your money in Krishna Bhajan, everything, whatever you have, all your honor, position, if you can really, even the court case, even the court case, if you can relate it to Krishna Bhajan, then it is Bhajan. How is possible, Maharaj? Our Kesav Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. They were so intelligent, so fine technology. They used to relate one court case with Krishna Bhajan. He is going to court with Tarban, with Tarban in a disco, sitting in the court, and appear in front of judge. And no pleader there, he himself can argue, argument he himself. He himself is going with turban, nice clothes, is going there in the court. Now, is, is there in your party you like to su uh, get support of any, uh, in your party, you in, uh, in your favor, you have any uh, pleader, I mean, ukil? Uh, no, I myself can judge, he's speaking. So fine technology. Even court case, they were successful to convert into Hari Bhajan. One example I can give you, you cannot believe me. You can, you practically our Guru Varga. 
I know you cannot believe how possible. One Baba, one Baba, white bass, used to say Navadip. Very often, very now and then, he used to go to Krishnanagar court and file one case against some uh, so called devotee, wayward devotee, or idiot, he used to file one case. In the, in the dress of, in the days of, you know, Baba, Paramahansa Bhais, used to do something. He very often used to go to Krishnanagar to file one case against him. Very often, he is going there. Then someday, some Navadip Sahajiya Babajis, they in, in group, Sahajiya Babajis, they in Navadip, they in group, coming in group in front of Bhakti Muttaku and complaining against him. He is speaking, you are actually uh, in a right position to give punishment to everybody. You are district magistrate, no? So you see that Baba, he is not doing his own bhajan. Always going to file case, this, that. Why? He cannot do bhajan. We are, do bhai, we are doing bhajan. And he are always, every now and then, going to file one case against somebody, some or other. Always Bhakti Muttagur laughing. Bhakti Muttagur speaking. Bhakti Muttagur speaking. Well, look, that Baba is actually doing bhajan. Huh? He is doing bhajan, filing case in court all the time. Yes, he is doing bhajan. Because you idiot, you are going to steal money of Bhagavan. You are going to acquire the land of widow. Because widow is helpless. You are going to take his property, everything, her property. And you are going to do wrong association with widow. Woman this way. So, so he cannot be here. He is going to file case with, uh, against somebody. He like to purify. Surely he likes to purify the environment of bhajan. So he is doing bhajan. You are doing Hari now, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. It's not, it's not bhajan. He is doing bhajan. So what you can see? He is doing bhajan. You are not doing. You are sitting inside your room. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram. It's not bhajan. He is doing bhajan. Follow. Like Srimati Radharani. All is fighting with Radharani and Chandravali group. But that fighting is for absolute reason. Don't think, don't take it wrong way. They are fighting absolute seva. If you realize it, then all problem is over. Gauriya Vajan Prabhupada, I can discuss this tomorrow. Prabhupada speaking that all our belongings even our body, mind, speech, whatever we have, our educational qualification, I mean whatever you have, all your belongings, even your money, position, rule, anything, you should learn how to utilize it for Hari Bhajan. How to relate. That is very tough. That is one technology, fine technology. How to relate each and everything. with. But Mayavadi, a driver, Oh, we are Vairagu, we are having only coffin. We have no property. We are actually Gauriya devotees. They are making big, big buildings. Oh, they are not sadhu. We are sadhu. Yes, we are sadhu. They are speaking this. But all proper adjustment, they don't understand. That's why two sloks I told many times. You can remember. Prapanchi kataya buddhya harishammanni vastuno mumokshovir parityago vairagyan phalgu kachate. Prabhupada used to say, and anasakta savisayano yatharho mupayanyata kishna sammande yuktam vairagya muchate. What is yukta vairagya? What is dai vairagya? All explanation. Prabhupada also, who is Vaishnava they are eating? Who is Vaishnava they are Bengali verse. Kishno Sevai Jaha Hoy Bengali, you don't know what I can. Kishno Sevai Kishno Sevai Jaha Hoy Onukul Bishoy Boliyataha Tagi Hoy Bhul. It is your blunder mistake. You are going to throw all object. You don't understand, you can utilize it for Kishno Seva. 
You don't know this room, you can utilize for Krishna Seva. But you forget this. You can utilize this for Krishna Seva. But you think, oh, I can reject, I can stay under an umbrella or a tree. Eh? Rup Sanatana used to say, Are Rup Sanatana used to say, you can, uh, you can follow Rup Sanatana? Eh? How is possible for us to follow Rup Sanatana? Rup Sanatana always doing Nam Sankita and everything. Eh? Nidra Hara Bihara Kadi Vijito Chattanta Dino Chajo Radha Krishna Guna Smriter Madurima Nande Nama Taliko Bande Rupa Sanata No Ragujugo Sijibo Go Palako. Ah, so nice. Eh? Well, they are always dancing, singing, whole. You can do. If you cannot sleep 10 hours, you feel sleepy. You need 10 hours. I know. Eh? Then you can feel problem. But Guru Vaishnava, how long they are taking that? We have to get maturity. I know it's very hard. Very hard, I agree. It's not so. Forcefully, I cannot do. I cannot compare. You are to do. No. This is bhakti. Ah, normal. So, Rup Sanatana, they are staying under a tree. Under a tree, each new tree. Because if I am staying under a tree two days, ah, this tree is very good, giving me nice sets. Better I can stay here. This is also attachment. So, all new, new tree. Follow. All new, new tree. Every day under a new tree. This new tree. Today I am under this tree. Tomorrow I can shift to other tree. So, even in imagination, it's impossible. Inconceivable. Nidra har vihar kadi vijito chattanto dino chajo. Eating, sleeping, nothing there. And sometimes Sonatunga says, Oh, I have no time to write this book. So he is taking a fried, fried chick bit. And taking some drink is over. Prasad, lunch is over. Lunch, lunch is over. No dinner. Devotees, they are not taking dinner. Sometimes we can take No dinner. Lunch is there. So this way, they are going to maintain their life. How possible? Impossible. So, but Rup Sanatana is staying this way. But they are Vairagya, Jukta Vairagya. Gaurgisar Babaji is staying that way. We should not, you know, uh, follow him that way. They are Vairagya, though externally very hard Vairagya. But still they are, they are normal. It is normal for them. But if we uh, try to imitate them, we can, we can die. Because our body cannot permit, our mind cannot, we can go crazy. That's why Prabhupada many times used to quote one sloka from Bhagavatam. Many times Prabhupada used to quote this one sloka from Bhagavatam. That Bhakti Yoga is only possible for them, those who are accepting everything favorably, not negatively. And if they are going to accept dry Vairagya, they can fall down. Non-irvinno. Nati Shakto, no Nirvinno Nati Shakto Bhakti Yoga Asya Siddhido. Bhakti Yoga, in the way of Bhakti Yoga, you can come out successful if you can accept normal Vairagya, normal, easy. Oh, what is natural? Not going to put an effect in your mind. In your mind you are feeling tired, then be. So normal way, normal way. So. Matter, you are going to accept prasadam, normal way, whatever you need to maintain. You are going, in Gita also Bhagavan proper resting, proper resting need, you are sleeping, you are in, you know, now in normal condition, sometimes sleeping, all normal, yukta, balanced. Sometime, our body is tamagun. Sometimes our body is tamagun. But not that forever it can stay in tamagun. Maybe our body is now tamagun or rajagun, uh, rajagun affected. But not then, oh, forever it can stay. Not that. You have to try. So someday can come, four hours sleep, sleeping or is more than sufficient. Someday, not now. 
But forcefully, if you apply, you can go sick. Normal. What you need, you can not extra. So Prabhupada used to say, so Prabhupada used to say, no nirvinno, nati shakto, bhakti yoga asso siddhido. No nirvinno, not too much detachment. And no too much attachment. Normally you can accept as a prasad, everything. This way. So, Sarvam Bhattacharya today, now, realize what is called Jukta Vairag. Not only that, but also he is speaking that Chaitanya Avatar, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, coming to teach us the Yukta Vairagya. Yukta Vairagya. Vairagya Vidya. Previously, my Vairagya was dry Vairagya. Previously, my Vairagya was dry Vairagya. That Vairagya has nothing to do with Bhakti. If you go and following dry Vairagya, very shortly, you can become a heartless man. Cruel. I have seen. Somebody forcefully applying. I can take only two chapati, nothing else, or with salt and nothing. This way. I cannot uh, take any blanket, anything, forcefully. After that, gone crazy. Crazy, totally crazy. Crazy, totally mad. In Bhita and Bhagavatam, Bhagavan speaking to Uddhav, Vairagya, you should try to understand what is actual Vairagya. And according to, a, according to a limit capacity, you can try to accept. I mean, you can try to do away. You can try to do away with matter. But according to a capacity. If you need five glass of water, you must drink. Not that in one, one glass of water. Popad used to do one a hundred crore Nam Jagya. That doesn't mean from tomorrow we can start. Popad used to cook, cook himself, boil and throw in the mud and taking like dog. I never wanted to imitate Prabhupada, but I done. Normal way. That was not hard because I was habituated. In Vrindavan, beating cold, I am using only only potato sack. And by very small, nothing else. I am habituated. So that was not a dry bhairagya for me. I was feeling very happy. But it is not applicable for everybody. They can go mad. Prabhupada used to do 100 crore yoga. I never took that uh, 1 crore yoga. Two months or uh, in one hour and everything is normally. But nobody should imitate. So whatever you need, you will have to accept to maintain your body. Not too much. Not too much. Too much everything is very dangerous. Hello? Too much everything is. But normally, you need, you, you need to accept this one to maintain your body. Yukta Bhairagya. To do bhajan of Bhagavan. Now Sarva Mataja Jo realized that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu coming here to teach us actual Bhairagya. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu going to teach us actual Bhairagya. Proper Bhairagya. Actual Bhairagya has direct link with Hari Bhajan. Many people used to say that Bhakti Minut Thakur, uh, no such detachment is there. Bhakti Minut Thakur, no such detachment is there. He is wearing nice clothes, uh, sitting inside room. But Gaur Kishore Baba is more practical. His uh, Bhairag is more. But Prabhupada with totally wrong conception. Totally wrong. Totally wrong conception. Bhakti Minut Thakur, inside room, with cloth, the kind of Bhairagya, Gaurkisar Baba, without, without any cloth, coping, same Bhairagya. Externally, you can find there is disparity. Time to time, I can discuss, so that you can realize what is called. So, Sarva Vataja Jo, so Sarva Vataja Jo today, now realize that his, his Bhairagya was dry Bhairagya. He was heartless. He was a cruel man. No love for Bhagavan. Nothing. I was a cruel man. Cruel, number one. Now, 
by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, now discover, oh, is Bhagavan himself. I thought there is no form of Bhagavan. He is swaying all, six hand, everything. I am Ram, I am Krishna, I am Gauranga. I myself will see. Then, Tharum Vataja totally changed heart. And I told you yesterday, day by day I can go on remembering this thing. Yesterday I told that one sloka, what Mahaprabhu wanted to discuss in front of Sarvamata Chajyo, 18 times, one sloka from Bhagavad. One sloka from Bhagavad. That the same sloka when Swanathan Goswami in Baranasi, Kasi Baranasi, the teaching spot of, you know, Sanatan Siksha, that is in Varanasi, one place is there, where Mahaprabhu at the bank of Ganga sitting and giving continuous teaching to Sanatan, long teaching. There Sanatan Goswami ultimately going to request Prabhu. Prabhu, could you please explain the sloka I heard that you wanted to explain uh, 18 way. You already explained 18 different way. I like to hear, I'm very interested. Mahaprabhu speaking, well, I cannot remember what is. I, what I told him, I cannot remember. <laughs> what I told to Sarva, okay, okay, let me, let me, let me see what I can remember by your association. Let me see what I can remember. By your association is pure association. By your pure association, I can remember everything. So let me see. Then Mahaprabhu started explaining the same sloka. What is the sloka? Atma Ramascha Manayo Nirganthya Upi Urukrame Kuruvanti Vahetu King Bhaktim Itvam Bhuta Gunaha Hari. This sloka. Atma Ramascha Manayo Nirganthya Upi Urukrame Kuruvanti ahe to King Bhaktim, Iktam Bhuta Gunaha Hari. That is the excellency, that is the excellency, absolute excellency of Krishna Bhajan. That even those were Atma Ram. Atma Ram means those were look those those were in, those those were less interested about what is happening all around. Those who are less interested about what is happening all around. They are only concentrating inside the Atma. They are called Atma Ram. They are satisfied themselves. They don't need any external help, nothing. Atma Ram. Any object or any honor, position can give them enjoyment, not that. They itself they are getting enjoyment. In Sanskrit, it is called Atmani. Atmani Ramate Iti Atmaram. Who is Atmaram? What is the explanation of Atmaram? Atmani Ramate Iti Atmaram. Who is satisfied with he who is satisfied with his own Atma itself? That is called Atma. Who he is himself satisfied with Atma? No need of anything outside world. You need something. You need no? Shabdo Sparsaru. If not, you will see very tired. But those who are Atmaram, they are satisfied themselves. They don't need anything outside. Why they are feeling enjoyment? No no answer. They are feeling enjoyment. That's the same case was the same case was there with Sukhdev Goswami previously. When Sukhdev Goswami took birth from the womb of mother at the age of sixteen. He didn't want to take bath. Well, oh, I cannot come out. Why? But I, Maya can touch me. Sukhdev Goswami don't like to come out. Well, hey, here is okay. One kind of meditation I'm doing. Well, no, you come out. Sixteen years over. <laughs> Nobody can believe. But finally, Vyasadev speaking, speaking to Krishna is not coming out. We are requesting not come. Krishna, well, I can request. Hey, you come out. No, 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 I don't like to come. Maya can touch. No, Maya can touch you. I promise you. I promise you. Maya can. 
No Maya can touch. Okay, Maya can touch you, but perfection of second. Like perfection, because it is general rule. If I am going to make new rule for you, it's not good. People can say I am selfish. So rule must be there. Maya can touch, but how long? But fraction of second. How? One, you have seen the horn of Gomata? You have seen the horn of Gomata? There? If you are going to keep one master seed, one master seed, you are taking one master seed, and going to keep it on the horn of Gomata, tap immediately. Can. Bhagavan speaking, you see, I cannot make new rule for you. But rule is same, but for fraction of second, it does. I mean, almost Maya cannot touch you. Oh, okay, then he is coming out. Then Sukhdev coming out from the womb of mother. After taking birth, not looking who is my mother, who is my father, immediately going to forest. Strange, it is written in Bhagavatam. After taking birth, he is less interested to see who is my father, who is my mother. He is taking birth, immediately going to forest. Even he is not waiting for reform and shanskar. After taking birth, we need some shanskar. Birth sanskar, Janma sanskar in, in our society, Vaidik society is going on. Yang brava yantamana petam apet kritvam daipayana viraha kātar ajuhava putrete tanmaya tayātar bo vinedum tvang sarva bhūta hidvayam munimānatasmi. After taking mother, he is running towards forest. That Sukhdev Goswami, why I speak this topic, you can realize. I can relate this slok with that. Mahaprabhu also wanted to. He went to forest, hilly place, and sitting. After going to, after reaching a solitary place, very high peak, uh, all around, hill and hill, eyes, and no cloth there. No cloth there, naked. Is going there and sitting. Bas. Not giving you nothing. Then Basdev Goswami is speaking. Gabdev Basdev Goswami giving instruction to one of his disciples. You don't disturb him. I can teach you two sloka or some sloka of Bhagavatam. Only you can recite in front of him. Don't disturb him. You don't call him. That nothing. You go. Then after that, the disciple going near that Sukhdev. Sukhdev is meditation. Thinking, he Sukhdev Goswami, he himself already told in Bhagavatam. He himself told, previously I was busy with impersonal Brahma. Parinishchita opinayirgunne ghita uttama sroka leelaya. He himself told that previously I was very much interested about the formless Brahma. Formless Brahma. But after that, after hearing, all beautiful Leela, all beautiful Sarupa Bhagavan, hearing Shabda Brahma. I told you, na? So that Shabda, I can try to discuss tomorrow, more detail. Shabda Brahma entering into the ear of Sukhdev Goswami. Though he is interested about impersonal Brahma. Parinishchitopi nairgunne. When Basdev Goswami, Basdev Goswami is speaking to one of his disciples, don't disturb him, you can go eh, in the proximity in, near him and don't disturb, he go on speaking. Baraha piram natabarabapu karnayo karnikaram vidyadabhasakanaka kopi sambhayanti chamalam Randhana Bena Radhara Sudaya Pura Yana Gopa Bindvai Bindarannam Sapadaramanam Prabhishad Gita Kirti This sloka. I mean the beautiful figure of Krishna. Krishna coming back from posturing field with cows. All cows, calf, they are dancing, laughing, and all coward boys and Krishna playing. This picture he wanted to portray by this sloka. Follow. And Sukhdev, after hearing shocks, he is speaking. After that hearing, 
अहो वौकीयम स्तौन काल कूटम जिघंग सया अपाय यद्यप्य असाध है असाधि ले भे गोतिम धत्रुचितम तथो अन्यम कंबा दयालम शरणम भजम पुतना द है राक्षसी सी वॉन्टेड टू गिव ब्रेस्ट मिल ए वॉन्टेड टू किल कृष्ण बाई अप्लाइंग पॉइजन ऑल्सो कृष्ण सो मर्सिफुल वॉन्टेड टू गिव हिम द पोजिशन ऑफ हॉस्टरिंग मादर मादर पोजिशन ही वॉन्टेड टू किल कृष्ण बाय गिव इन द ब्रेस्ट मिल बाई अप्लाइंग पॉइजन एंड नाउ कृष्ण गोइंग टू गिव हिम द सेम स्टेज I mean the ultimate goal. What is that? Mother, mother. Yeah, not surely not like Jasoda ma. But mother, when your baby is there, you are your wife very busy. Then you engage. You can engage somebody, a paid man. She can take care of your fostering mother. At present, I don't know. There is no heartless. But previously, previously fostering mother. One. genuine one real mother is there mother is there still one mother she used to love him very much is to take in a room give him milk kiss and playing at present all they are selfish you close your door of a room you are isolated at present everybody like to lead their life isolated life oh, nobody should disturb me i should say alone nobody can see what i am doing this is our life selfish life so we cannot make any improvement in bhajan you will have to come in front of public and prove that you are adjusted with whole creation bhajan mean you will have to get adjusted totally with bhagwan devotees bhajan everything also we will have to bear or they are doing some torture we have to be okay. they ignore and they are doing adjustment power can increase if we do goshti bhajan if we all do separate separate bhajan we cannot develop power but anyway at present a uh, goshti bhajan is dangerous because all demons are there they cannot allow me to do bhajan that is also goshti bhajan is more practical anyway so i can time to time i can try to discuss all those points now you see tharumata ja jo now realize what is called jukta bhairag he heart is totally changed and i wanted to explain the shloka which is due i will have to explain atma ramascha manayo nirgantha upi urukrame kurvanti vahetu king bhaktim itham bhuta guna hari hari bhagwan is decorated with so transcendental qualities absolute qualities so that even 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 atmaram who is himself satisfied with atma he also feeling attraction he also feeling attraction he cannot be here that is the power of krishna his leela his swarup his speech his love everything so excellent that some day if we can realize who is krishna then we can we can we can cry we cannot be here. impossible who is krishna why we are so cruel why we are so cruel why we don't like to worship bhagwan who is the topmost friend in our life top most absolute friend who never can leave sometime if you are doing some wrong uh, i mean husband can throw wife and file one case in court to seek a uh, divorce divorce but bhagwan never can divorce us <coughs> yes why i say divorce because jivatma is actually feminine gender jivatma atma is actually not masculine gender feminine gender jiv atma because jivatma is shakti tattva jivatma shakti tattva na tatva sa shakti so i am right our eternal husband is krishna 
Our eternal husband is Krishna. Krishna never going to, never like to divorce us. So then, so this, in this sloka, I already proved, I can go and discuss so many things because last chapter, no? Say even Atmaram, I give example, that Sukhdev Goswami, after hearing, Sukhdev Goswami, after hearing the excellent sloka from Bhagavatam, which is like a magnet going to call. Sukhdev Goswami opened his eyes. Hey, who is speaking? Who is singing this sloka? Who is singing? Who is singing? He find one devotee is singing. Hey, you speak more, more. I like to hear. I like to... No, you have to come back. You have to come back. Then we can... Oh, we hear. We like to hear. You speak more. No, I cannot speak here. You have to come. Then he was caught, arrested and brought. He was arrested and brought this way, tactfully, in front of Vyasadeva Goswami. And then onward, Vyasadeva Goswami was successful to keep this rasa of Bhagavatam in the container of Sukhdev Goswami. Because Vyasadeva Goswami was over-sanguine. Vyasadeva Goswami was over-sanguine. That Sukhdev is the topmost container in which I can, container, pot, 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 container, foolish. Sukhdev Goswami is the topmost container, pot, inside which, inside which I can keep this Bhagavad Rasa. He is the topmost, by birth he is, by birth he is Paramahansa. So why not I can uh, take this advantage? Why not I can take this, I can take this advantage, I can bring this, so this way he was born. This way, he was arrested and brought. So, Sukhdev Goswami was Atmara. So, this example, Mahaprabhu wanted to speak in front of Sarva. Sarva 18 times. And in front of, in front of Sanatan, 62 times. Mahaprabhu, go on explaining, go on explaining. No restless. After that, somehow Mahaprabhu is going to check himself. Also, Mahaprabhu could speak more. After speaking Sanatan, actually, you are crazy, I am also crazy. Both of us crazy. What I am speaking, what you are hearing, don't speak to outside people. They can say, I am crazy. <laughs> Mahaprabhu is speaking this way. 62 different kind of. Practically, applying, you know, each, each word. Atma, Ramascha, Munayo, Nirgantha, Api, Uruk. Each and word Mahaprabhu taking and going to show uh, what is the meaning. Ah, it's meaning. Oh, I can speak more meaning. You see, more three or four different kind of meaning. This way, you see. And again, Atma, 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 this word is making six or seven times a meaning. Uh, Ramascha, Atma, Ramascha, total meaning. This way, 62 or 65. Meaning and meaning. Like rain, meaning coming. Inconceivable. This way, Atma Ramascha Munayo Nirgantya Pyuru Krame Mahapu wanted to explain in form of Sarvabhomo. Sarvabhomo, out of his proficiency, and Pandita wanted to explain uh, eight or nine different, maximum. Ma when one time Sarvabhomo did Atma Ramascha Munayo, this uh, explanation. And again, 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 you can see more? Yes, I can see more. Again speaking. This way, maximum, by fighting inside, fighting, maximum nine type. After that, uh, what do you know? Now you can explain. He is thinking of ordinary young boy. So now you will have to speak explanation. I speak nine times. Sarvamata is speaking to Mahaprabhu. Now you explain? How, how you can explain? Let me see. Then Mahaprabhu not going to touch even a single explanation. Mahaprabhu not going to touch even a single explanation done by Sarvamo. Mahaprabhu doing 18 different times. After that, Sarvamo gone mad. He is, surely he is not an ordinary man. Then he could realize. After that, Mahaprabhu shown his Sarup, six hand, I am Ram, I am Krishna, I am Gauranga, and fall down. After that, Mahaprabhu went to, I already told, Mahaprabhu touch, calling, Sarvabhama, what happened? What happened to you? What happened to you? 
of calling after that gate. Then after that, he cannot find that sarup what he saw. Six and now see one sannyasi, young sannyasi sitting and crying, shedding tears and fall down on the ground and started speaking like a wind. Started speaking like a wind. Bhairagya vidya nija bhakti yogo shikshartha mekam purusho purano eh? sikisna chaitanya sarira dhari ki paam badir jastok that Bhagavan that Bhagavan for infinity period is present. Now he is coming in front of me to teach me what is called actual Vairag. Nija Bhakti Yoga. What is the secrecy of Bhajan? Mahaprabhu. Now Sarvam is speaking. Prabhu coming to teach Yukta Vairagya, balance Vairagya, Yukta Vairagya. At the same time, Mahaprabhu like to teach us the secrecy of Bhajan. How to love Bhagavan, how to serve Bhagavan. Vairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yoga. Apna Nija Bhakti Yoga. Personal Bhakti Yoga. He is Bhagavan Sri Krishna Himself. He already saw Ram, Krishna, and Gaurav. Oh, that Puran Purush. Puran Purush, who is eternally present. Who is Puran Purush? Puran Purush means eternally present. That Parathpara Kileshwar, universal Bhagavan. Now appear in front of me to teach me actual meaning of Bhairagya and the secrecy of Bhakti, Nija Bhakti Yoga, Shikshartha Mekam Purusha Purano is coming. So now, Sarva Mota Jajo totally converted into a great devotee. From then onward, Sarvabhama was like a shadow with Mahaprabhu. Sarvabhama was like a shadow. Anytime you will look, what happened? Sarvabhama is there. But when Sarvabhama, when, when Mahaprabhu wanted to go South India, I can, gradually I can go on speaking. When Mahaprabhu wanted to go to South India, to deliver, when Mahaprabhu went to South India to deliver all fallen souls, in the name of bhakti, in the name of bhakti, they are doing something. Or totally they, uh, totally they ignore the procedure of bhakti. They are mayavadi. South Indian field, South Indian field is full of mayavad. South Indian field is full of mayavad. And some of them have uh, some Ramanujajo. No, by, by that time Ramanujajo gone and long Ramanujajya gone long ago, not today. So so the whole South Indian belt, whole South Indian belt was covered up with Mayavad or so called bhakti. So distribute them that bhakti, pure bhakti, Mahaprabhu took trouble to go to South India everywhere. And that time Sarvamu was feeling like a dead body. Sarvamu anyway not ready to allow Mahaprabhu to go. No, 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 you can stay. No, Mahaprabhu cannot do it. But somehow, Mahaprabhu, somehow, he was bound to allow Mahaprabhu to go to South Indian trip. So anyway, after that, Mahaprabhu told, this is the reason for why I came to you. Came to you. So, Sarvamamu now, same Sarvamamu now explaining Vedanta. Previously, Sarvamamu Vataja used to explain, explain Sankar Vedanta. Previously, previously Sarvamamu Vataja used to explain Mayavad Vedanta. Mayavad. Follow. Mayavad Vedanta. Sankara Jaja. And now, that Sarvamamu Vataja explaining Gauriya Vedanta. That Sarvamamu Vataja. By the mercy of Gauranga, explaining Gauriya Vedanta. It is secret information. Nobody knows. That Sarvam Vatajajo is the topmost pandit in the whole India. The, after he was converted into a devotee, then whole Mayavadi belt, they were just shocked. How possible? They cannot believe. How possible? Sarvam change. No father there who can change Sarvam how change? 
Then after that, some of his disciple, I mean disciple of Sarvamati. Sarvamati Mayabadi, he was Mayabadi. Sarvamati was Mayabadi, na, previously. So that disciple also Mayabadi. But after, after he was converted into a devotee, those disciples, Madhusudan Saraswati, they all took lesson from Sarvamati. They all took lesson from Sarvamati, but now just opposite way, I mean right way. Previously they took lesson, Mayabad Vedanto, previously they, they took lesson from Sarvamati, Mayabad Vedanto, now same disciple, same disciple going to learn Gauriya Vedanta. Gauriya Vedanta. And it is, it is a speculation or I don't know, Gauriya Vaishnav, they are writing at the time of, at the time of argument going on, at the time of that argument, when the argument was there between Sarvamo and Mahaprabhu, that time Gopinath Acharya was present. Some of our Guru Bargo speaking that when the discussion was there, between Sarvamamu and, and Mahaprabhu. That time Gopinath Acharya was present. And that Gopinath Acharya, next time, next birth, he took, he came in the form of Baladev Vidyabhushan. Some of our Guru Bhargava speaking this. Gopinath Acharya was there. Gopinath Acharya learned everything. And that Gopinath Acharya finally took birth as Sarvo as Baladev Vidyabhushan. Hello, what do you say? So, in Baranasi, Sarvo Matajaju went there. But in Chaitanya Bhagavad, it is not written. All detailed information you can find in other books, written Sarvo Matajaju went there to change them. But he could not change. He was successful to change some of his disciples. Finally, Mahaprabhu went there to change them. All Mayavadis. Total Mayavadi, Hare Krishna, they are speaking. All dancing. All Mayavadis, those who used to hate Mahaprabhu. They used to hate. Huh? They used to just standing, dancing, eh? and not hearing Vedanta, nothing. Finally, they were converted into a great devotee. All of them dancing and singing, Hare Krishna, this way. Even Prakasananda Saraswati. Because who is the leader of 10,000 disciples? With all disciples dancing like a mad with Mahaprabhu. So, this way. So, some of the disciples of Sarvamvata they were all converted into devotee. So, this way, we can find that our Jiva Goswami path, while going to Vrindavan, try to understand. Jiva Goswami path, Jiva Goswami path by the instruction of Nityananda. <coughs> Jiva Goswami path by the instruction of Nityananda going to Vrindavan. Nityananda giving instruction, Jiva, you go because first of all, Jiva Goswami path came from Ramkeli, North Bengal. From Ramkeli, North Bengal, first of all, he came to Navadip to take darshan of everything. And he was so lucky, by that time, Nityananda was physically present. Physically present, Nityananda. So, Nityananda wanted to help, wanted to help Jiva Goswami path to go and travel all around, Gauruban. So, Jiva Goswami path was so lucky, that he was successful to take darshan of Gaura Leela spot huh. by the association of Nityananda himself. Jiva, look, here Gauranga Mahapu used to go, Ravar, used to do this Leela. This is the ghat where Mahaprabhu used to take bath. This is the place where Mahapu used to sit and discuss Sanskrit background with devotees, eh, with a student, all watching. All, everything. So, by the instruction of Nityananda Prabhu, Jiva Goswami Path, first of all, going to Varanasi. It was the indication of Nityananda. 
So, it, it is one kind of Leela. The Jibu Goswami path going there and staying with Madhusudan Saraswati path. And they are, they are taking lesson on Veda, Vedanta, everything. Though he is eternal, Veda, Vedanta, everything, he took lesson there. After that, he went to Vrindavan. Before going to Vrindavan, because Vrindavan is the in way. Varanasi in the way of Vrindavan. First of all, there is two, three way, train going. Either you can go through, uh, uh, there, there is trip, because one train can go this way, one train go uh, this way. So, it is touching when you are going to Vrindavan, Mathura, it can go through Varanasi. So, in Varanasi, Jibu Goswami Path was there for, for some time to learn Veda, Vedanta, Bhagavatam, everything. Because by the mercy of Sarvam Vatajajyo, Sarvam Vatajajyo was a great devotee by that time. So, those disciples, they got all Sikha, Sarvam Vatajajyo, appropriate Sikha. Gauriyo, Gauriyo explanation of Vedanta, Veda, Bhagavatam, and Jibu Goswami Path. For some time, he was there in Baranasi to learn everything. After that, Jibu Goswami Path gone to Vrindavan to join the lotus feet of Rupa and Sanatana. Rupa and Sanatana, there, finally. Then, under the guidance of Sanatana and Rupa, ocean, infinity ocean, infinity ocean of Siddhanta Vichara. Infinity ocean of Siddhanta, all intricate matter, all intricate subject matter, on the basis of Bhagavatam, he is writing all, giving all answer. Any question, you can develop. All Jiva Goswami in the form of Sandarva. In the form of six Sandarvas, all writing, all in details, all explanation. There you can find the, the complete explanation of Vedanta, very clearly, all, everything. So, Jiva Goswami Path was the unique personality. No father in the whole world can compete. By the mercy of Jiva Goswami Path, Vishana Chakvatya, later on, we can see Baladev Vidyavushan. He is also unique, excellent. Bhakti Muttagur speaking, nobody was there, nobody was there just like Jiva Goswami. Bhakti Muttagur writing, Nobody was there just like Jiva Goswami. Excellent. Excellent. So fast knowledge. Oh. As if all knowledge, Shastriya knowledge there inside him. By the mercy of Shuddha Saraswati Radharani. Shuddha Saraswati Vishnu Devi. But I ultimately say Radharani is the Saraswati, original Saraswati. Because Radharani is going to teach Krishna. Radharani is going to teach Krishna how to sing, how to dance. So Radharani is Saraswati. I am not wrong. Vishnu Bhya Saraswati also. Vishnu Bhya Saraswati. But ultimately we can see Simati Radharani is Saraswati. Topmost. Who is going to give lesson to Krishna about singing, playing instrument, musical instrument, all Krishna. This way, only way. So try to realize all this point. How Sarvamataja Jo converted all those points of Vedanta, all uh, gradually I wanted to dis discuss. You should remember, don't forget. So, if you can remember, if you can remember what I am speaking, I can place guarantee that you can preach properly in your country. I can put guarantee here in written form. Provided you can catch all points, what I say, then you can preach very nicely. No father can stop you. All perfect Siddhanta Vijay. Very hard. Anyway, anyway, we'll have to do it. So, uh, so we'll have to stop here. And the slogan I started with could not explain. 
कृष्णत कीर्तन गान नतन कला पथोजनी भ्राजिता सदभक्ता बलिहंस चक्र मधुपो सैनी विहारास्पदम कर्णानंदी कल धनिर्बहतु मे जुहा मरु प्रांगणे श्री चैतन्य दयानी देत बल सद लीला सुधा सर्धुनि पांच कल्प दुर्वश कि पास सिंधु भविष्य पति तानंग पापन भू वैष्णव भ्यो न